So, check this out, people. I am here in Eastwood City. This place is beautiful. Today is at least 100 degrees. And so I'm trying to avoid the sun. The schools have been closed for the past two weeks because of the record temperatures. Here in Eastwood City, there's so much to do. During the day, it's pretty quiet. And since it's really hot, most people are indoors. And so as you can see, there aren't too many people out today. But this place is a beautiful place to hang out during the day, especially at night. There's so much happening at night. There's always music playing, live bands, live entertainment. Usually Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, there's some activity going on here in Eastwood City. You have the mall, which is just a few feet away. The good thing about this area is once you're in Eastwood City and you enter this area, you don't have to worry about traffic. You don't have to worry about cars. Here you have these beautiful condos where you have any one of these beautiful buildings to choose from. You can stay in any one of these condominiums for less than $40 a night. Here you see people cleaning the streets. The Philippines is very clean. People are always cleaning. That's one of the things I like about this country. And there's so many restaurants and places to enjoy here in Eastwood City. You can see how beautiful these condominiums are. There's no way that you will find a condominium in the U.S. where you can stay for less than two or three hundred dollars a night. And here you can stay in any one of these places for less than $40 a night. These places are beautiful. They're so convenient because you have access to so many different places to eat. The condos are just right across the street from Eastwood City, or at least from the plaza because the condos themselves are in Eastwood City. I usually stay in Tower 1 or Tower 2, but there are so many different condominium complexes to choose from. Every one of them is unique. Every one of them is beautiful. Here you have a fine dining restaurant. A lot of fine dining restaurants in the Philippines are elegant. They're very classy. Usually for two people, it'll cost you about $30. It's not something you can find back home in the U.S. If you go to a fine dining restaurant back home in the U.S., it'll cost you about $150 for two people. And here for two people could cost you about $30. There's always music in the background. And so I have to mute the video because if I post something with music on it, YouTube will give me a strike. I prefer to play the background noise only because it's more natural. Unfortunately, I'm not able to do it with the music playing in the background. But as you can see, this place is beautiful. There's always decorations. There's always something nice to look at here. This place is like a maze. Everywhere you go, there's something new to see. It's easy to get lost, but because it's so small and so compact, you can always find your way around back to where you started or back to where you need to go. If you lose your way, you can always ask a local. You can always ask one of the employees or security guards in the area. 
There's plenty of security in the Philippines. Doesn't matter what time of the day or night it is. There's always security. This is the view from the second floor. It's really pretty. So many fine dining and not just fine dining restaurants, but they also have fast food, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Popeyes. They have a TGI Fridays, a Denny's, Kenny Rogers Rotisserie. They have Nathan's Hot Dogs. They have pizza. They have so many things in this area. So many places to go. So much food, coffee shops, places where you can just sit and relax and stay out of the heat. And then once you've enjoyed your walk around, the condo is right across the street. Very convenient, very beautiful. Most of the condos that I've stayed in are very clean nine out of ten of them I usually give a good review on these condos they're usually individually owned most places that I rent are individually owned a lot of these condominiums are like hotels you have people coming and going you have residents in the uh, condominium complex and you have those who rent them, those who own them. You have Airbnbs. You have so many of these places where you can choose over a hotel. And most hotels will cost you about the same price. So, I paid $32 per night to stay in this beautiful, gorgeous room with everything I need, a small kitchen area, skylight, uh, nice size television with Netflix a beautiful view queen size bed this is the bathroom beautiful $32 a night. You can't beat this, people. Nowhere in the U.S. will you find a full condo for $32 a night. Hell, you won't find it for $100 a night, $200 a night. And here I'm paying $32 a night. Wi-Fi, Netflix, security, 24 hours a day, and Eastwood City directly across the street.
and this is my view this is what I get to wake up to in the morning this view right here you can't beat this with a bat $32 a night penthouse suite Only in the Philippines, people. Only in the Philippines. <laughs>